This is a good intake. I mean, I'm. <laughs> I can't take this anymore. This will be the last one. <laughs> Hello everyone, it's Abby. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm not gonna lie, this is like my 23rd time refilming the intro. Here's like the proof of it, all the bad scenes that I shot. I don't know what's with my mind, but it's kind of mushy right now. So I apologize in advance if I do make mistakes as the video progress. But the exciting part is, aside from my cash stuffing for my paycheck number two and one week worth of DoorDash, today I'm also going to announce my first giveaway in this channel. I just want to express how thankful and grateful I am for the support that I've received um, throughout this whole YouTube journey. I am like the last person to create this kind of channel, but here I am and I'm still, you know, doing it. So that's really fun thank you guys so much for taking the time of your day to subscribe to my channel watch my video like my video and engage with me in the comments that really means a lot to me and you know i'm just excited for what's to come and for the future of this um budget community so yeah again thank you thank you so much so the giveaway details are as follow there will be two winners and each winner will get $25 gift card from either Amazon or Etsy so they can choose which from those two they want. The giveaway will run from May 22 until May 30 and I will announce the winner on my next upload probably next week around June 1st or June 2nd. And the mechanics is actually really simple. Just subscribe to my channel like this video and comment down below your um, dream travel destination or your dream vacation place there will be a bonus entry if you do guess where mine is <laughs> just for fun totally optional to guess where is mine but i can give you a clue it's not the philippines because i have lived there all my life and i call it home so not philippines but it's part of asia it's kind of neighboring country of philippines and it's related to one of my favorite hobbies <laughs> that you can probably see in my youtube channel also please include your ig username or your email address any form of social media that i can you know as a way to contact you if you get chosen or if you win the giveaway so you know i can communicate easily with you and that's it very simple i hope you guys enjoyed this giveaway i hope you guys will participate also it's really fun so yeah good luck in this giveaway and we will proceed to my cash stuffing video okay today's a little bit different because i'm trying this new approach with budgeting you guys know i get paid bi-weekly so my budget and stuffing usually for i mean work two weeks but since I want to control my overspending on the first week of every paycheck, I decided to divide my bi-weekly paycheck into two. So it will actually looks like I'm getting paid weekly. So <laughs> I'm just trying this one. So I don't have to overspend my cash envelope money in just the first week and then crawl my way through the next payday on the next week. You guys probably know the feeling or understand me. But yeah. Um, I received my paycheck today and then I subtracted my investment, my miscellaneous, and some other things that I need to deduct. I ended up with $840, so that $840 is actually here, um, will be divided into two, so that's $420. And then my DoorDash income for one week is $55, so in total I have $475 to stop for one week. And then next week we have $420 again plus whatever DoorDash income that I will get. So in this way, I can control my spending weekly and let's see if this is effective. I made my own budget breakdown. Oh no. Yeah, I made my own budget breakdown. I used to use um, budget with Amanda's. I ended up making my own also. So if you do want to check this out or use it, I will link it down in the description box below as well as my other like free sinking fund tracker and content planner but anyway we have 800 
I mean, $475. Well, it's $450 because I did leave my $25 for my phone in my debit card. <laughs> The sun is already setting, so I'm gonna make this quick. I will start as usual with my daily expenses, aka my problem, because this is the one I can't control the most. Like, I have no problem with my monthly and sinking funds, but this one I always overspend on the first week. So, let's see if this method is going to be effective. So, for spending, I will put $15. I always ended up using my spending money for also my eating out so <laughs> what a joke right then eating out i used to put 30 dollars in here for two weeks but that's not realistic anymore i'm not gonna pretend that works for me so i'm gonna put 35 and let's see if i will have a rollover amount oh i don't know it's just so hard to control Spending, especially with takeout foods, I need to really push myself to be disciplined with this one. And then grocery will get $30. My grandma has her EBT, so we usually have our grocery using her EBT. This is just an extra whenever I go to like Walmart or, I or Aldi. So I have money in here then gas will get 20. I was actually surprised in my previous video that you guys say your state has like four dollars five dollars per gallon worth of gas so I was really surprised with that. How are you holding up guys? So I have money to bring back to the banks but I'm gonna do that later. So that's it for my daily expenses okay next is my monthly bills so as always it starts with my rent so rent will get 80 dollars i have no problem with my monthly bills it's just my cash envelopes or my daily expenses is the one i need to control the most because so i always ended up like spending my buffer money and that's not really good sometimes i even spend my some of my emergency money for eating out so yeah we're, we need to do something about that but yeah rent has 100 150 200 220 240 250 260 and then utilities will get 25 dollars how much oh, 25 yeah so $50 is already in here if we add 25 we have $75 for utilities then car loan will get 35 as you guys know in the previous video this is one uh, I mean I already have 290 which is one month worth of pay and I will pay this in June 1st so whatever I add in here is for July which means I am one month ahead so we can get 20 10 and 5 so we have 35 oops $35 for car loan then car insurance will get 35 car loan right now has $115 yeah, I'm kind of aware with it. So, adding $15, we have $150, which is one month worth of payment. So, we are now good for June. And then, Snowball Debt, I'm only going to stuff my Best Buy. And Best Buy will get $10. The next payment is on the 11th, so I don't worry that much from here. And then futures will get ten dollars since i included one week worth of doordash in here i will put the self-employment tax this is 15 percent of 55 so now i'm not gonna count this 
let's just see like off cam and then household i guess i did put no i didn't put anything for household so it's okay we still have money in here and yeah that's it for my uh, monthly bills and last but definitely not the least my favorite aka my sinking funds so house down payment i finally put a thousand dollar and five hundred dollar temporary sleep in here because i have one thousand two thousand two thousand five hundred in the bank so i just want to have a visual representation of it so it kind of feels real but yeah we have two five in here and for today we will just add fifty dollars so all in all, we have 1,000, 2,000, 2,500, 600, 700, 750 for house down payment. I actually just printed this one, made my own, and then put the, I don't know, this bedazzle thingy that I found in the Dollar Tree. You guys know it's purple, so <laughs> it actually looks really cute. And then this one is emergency fund. I am starting you guys to you know like um physically save up for it because i always put it automatically in my savings but right now my savings account has 1500 for emergency fund so i am going to start putting money in here by the way this is emergency fund i have given up with the small business for etsy so yeah i explained it in my previous video so for emergency fund we will add one fifty dollars so right now we have one thousand five hundred and fifty for emergency fund and i will probably deposit the money in the bank once it hits a thousand or five hundred let's see it's just good to have like visual represent a uh, visual presentation of the money in the bank it just feels more real not that it's fake but it's just you know you guys probably know what i'm saying right Okay, health will get $5. I'm actually going to my primary physician because I keep burping and sometimes it's troubling me, especially when I'm sleeping. So yeah, right now we have 20, 40, 45, 50, $55 for health. And I pay $20 per visit. So this one will probably be used next week. Then dentist will also get five. So we have 100, I mean 50, 100, 120, 130, 135 for dentists. I actually exchanged some bills off cam. <laughs> so that's why they're not that thick anymore. For car maintenance, it will also get $5. So right now we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 96 have $96 for car maintenance my next oil change is free so we will not use this anytime soon but it's good that it's getting really like or it's or it's go growing really well so for vacation vacation will get $15 not sure yeah it's $15 so we have 50, oh no, 50, <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, 140, 160, plus 50, we have 210, 220, 230. So we have $230 in here, which is right because the previous amount was 215. So it's really growing well for vacation. And then miscellaneous will get ten dollars this is in preparation for father's day and also for some other events i will pull out the money from here that's why it kind of depleted but it's okay it we're using it for its purpose so yeah christmas will get five i i don't know if i'm right <laughs> yeah five so Christmas now has 20, 70, 90, 110, then 115. My goal for this one is actually 300. So let's see 
if I can make it at the end, I mean, by holiday. It's fun to stuff this one. I'm actually thinking of, you know, giving just gift cert or gift card <laughs> to my uncles, aunts, and my nieces and nephews. So let's see. So wish list will get ten dollars also. So we have oh yeah, that's the last one. So we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. The reason why wish list is like depleted right now because last weekend me and my sister went to the outlet store and i was supposed to only accompany her to buy her shoes but i ended up buying a new pair of crocs <laughs> one of my <laughs> spending issue yeah crocs because they release new colors and i really really like it i'm probably gonna insert what i bought because i can't like show you guys it physically since it's kind of dirty so yeah it's the prettiest blue so I'm sorry, I can't help it. But yeah, well, I just used my wishlist money anyway. So we're using what it is meant for, right? Comment down below also if you like Crocs, like the classic plug. It's one of my favorite things now. I used to hate it, but now it's just like one of the things that I fancy. Anyway, that's it for sinking fund. Okay, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I just want to say and express my appreciation for each and every one of you. Thank you for the support. If you want to join the giveaway, I will link the mechanics on the description box below or you can check the beginning of the video since I put the mechanics in there. And as always, if you do like this content, don't forget to hit the like button as well as the subscribe button. And I hope to see you on my next one. Bye!